Hello everyone, it's Mac here today and here in Healthcare Myrtle Beach. We're making a video to show y'all how to change batteries on your hearing aid. Okay, so your hearing aid is going to be you know, usually one of two designs. We have a behind the ear right here where the hearing aid sits behind your ear and this receiver goes into your ear. And then the second design is gonna be a custom in-ear hearing aid like this. This goes right in your ear. It doesn't sit behind your ear at all, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is find out what kind of battery your hearing aid takes. So, you know, different types of hearing aids use different types of batteries, okay? Uh, the most common type we use today is going to be the look at my hair, going to be the 312 battery. This is a brown battery. It's um, a small, medium-sized battery that most of our hearing aids take. Um, for example, the Oticon Mini Right hearing aids take a 312. Um, if you have a custom full shell hearing aid like this, you might use a 13 battery. 13 is orange. Um, check with your provider, your specialist, um, to make sure you're using the right type of batteries for your hearing aid. You should be able to supply those to you. Another type is if you have a little custom CIC uh, in canal hearing aid you might use a 10 battery 10s are the littlest uh, smallest batteries that we use and then the last battery we don't see very much of um, is the bigger 675 right here it's a blue battery now some people with a cochlear implant might use this or an older hearing aid or one of these um, ultra powered behind the ear might use a blue 675 so you have four different types of batteries all right here look at that so you got to make sure you're using the right type so for our mini right oticon right here we're going to use our 312 so you're going to take your battery these batteries are air activated so that means that they have this tab on it right here that's the tab you're going to peel that off now your battery is activating. Um, one thing to know is that your battery will actually get the full potential of its use if you let it sit out for a minute or two after you pull that tab. So if you have the time, let it sit out on the table for a few minutes and um, it will fully charge up, get ready to use. So then, you're going to have your hearing aid here. You're going to look for your battery door. The battery door usually has a pull tab. You can see right there. Um, there's a little tab sticking out. You're going to pull on that right here. To open up your battery door. It might click halfway. That's going to be the off position. But that's okay. It's supposed to do that. You're going to open it all the way up just like this. Now, your battery has two sides. It has the flat side and the button side. Can't see that very well. Well, there's the button side. And then this is the flat side. So the flat side goes up. You can see your battery door is almost like a little sh drawer. It has a bottom part here that, um, holds the battery okay it's hard to see but we're going to put it in just like that okay it does not go in the hearing aid like this it wouldn't even fit in there it goes in the door the battery drawer just like that okay and then closes right up that's going to power on your hearing aid and you're going to hear 
the signal, it's a chime, that tells you that it's turning on, okay? So once again, this is what it looks like. In the battery door, let's so say you pop out the battery, you just go from the side, just like that. All right, uh, a custom hearing aid. Um, you're gonna have the battery door on the back here. This is really great lighting, isn't it? You can see that tab right here. You're gonna pull that, opens up your battery door. Try that one more time. There's the tab. I'm gonna pull on that, and there's our battery door. Open right up. So this is a 13 battery. You're gonna use this battery for the bigger full shell customs if, if that's what they require. Pull off that orange tab once again. I just pulled it off here. You can see that, but pull it off. Now leave it for a few minutes if you're able to, and then you're gonna put it right in the battery drawer compartment. It should fit just like that and make sure it's flat against the top there. So it will close and start up, okay? Now, if you have a rechargeable hearing aid, you won't have to worry about any of this kind of stuff. You're going to put your hearing aid right in the charger. So um, that's what a lot of people are using now since we've got lithium-ion rechargeable systems that we use that are much more reliable than the previous generation of rechargeable technology. We're recommending people use um, rechargeable now because there's no reason not to, really. They last 24 hours on a charge. So there's, um, you know, as long as you're charging it every night, you shouldn't have to worry about if it's going to die on you. Now, hearing aid batteries should last anywhere from five days to seven days. That's on a regular 312 battery. A 10 battery mat might last not quite as long, maybe five days or so. <clears throat> and a 13 battery can last up to a week or longer. And that's just from daily use, not 24 hour use as long as you're doing what you should do which of course is open up your battery door every night leave that hearing aid to number one dry out and two don't waste battery so leave it open same thing with the um, mini rights behind the ears you know open that battery door up at night leave it open let it dry out let that battery uh, not be used overnight when you don't need it when you're not wearing it so that should be about all you're going to need to know for changing batteries. Um, make sure you're using the right type of battery. Make sure the flat side is up, not the button side. And um, if you sometimes you get a bad pack of batteries that might have been older on the shelf sitting there for a while and they just don't work at all. Uh, so go check with your hearing specialist. They should have new batteries that come in every month that are fresh. And um, you also look on the back of your pack and it's going to have the expiration date. It says used by 2024. So these are good for four more years because it is 2020 last time I checked. So um, if you have any more questions about changing your batteries or anything relating to your hearing aids, please come on by. We'd love to see you here. Uh, we are still running our free hearing evaluations, so please give us a call. Numbers on our website. We have our two locations here, one in Myrtle Beach, 5913 North Kings Highway. And we have our Conway location, which is 1415 3rd Ave, right in Conway, South Carolina. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing you all come on down. Next time you're in town, stop on by. See you all later. Have a great day.